pretty interesting story just out of Jackson down the hill. A little coyote pup who had lost the rest of his family had snuck into a dog kennel and cuddled up with another dog. And the owner came out and found it. And then cute little bugger brought him down to the vet. And then the vet uh, went and brought it to the wildlife care, but not before deworming it and getting the fleas and all the ticks off of it. And then placed it in with another little mini pack of pups, which will all be set free later. It's kind of a happy story as far as I'm concerned. And as far as coyotes go, you know what? I know uh, they were kind of like bullet fodder at one point in time, but really they are part of the environment. They do great things out there. They are incredibly intelligent as well. Let's take a look at this video right now. Make tunnels to drag unsuspecting prey through them, but that'll hardly surprise anyone. After all, foxes also know how to dig to get to their prey, but that's not the full extent of coyote's hunting skills. Evolution made these animals into cunning predators that can move without making a sound. If a coyote ends up in a place where he needs to be as careful as possible and remain unnoticed, he can tiptoe. Yeah, I was also surprised to find this out. But it looks like coyotes can really do that. Anything to make as little noise as possible. Sometimes coyotes, like any other animals, are limping. But this doesn't mean they have some problems with their legs. For example, you might watch a coyote limp, but when the prey comes into view, the injury miraculously heals, just in time for the coyote to quickly go on the offensive and attack the unsuspecting prey. Yeah, like I said, they're pretty damn smart. However, this is only one of the theories. The coyote might actually be injured and is simply reducing stress to the injured leg so it can heal. Well, when food appears on the horizon, healing can wait. The coyote needs very little time to attack its prey, and he has a different approach for each target. When hunting small game, coyotes rely on their hearing and literally creep until they find something under the snow or in thick grass, and then they jump up, landing with their front paws on the poor creatures. There is also a theory that says coyotes can pretend to be friends with dogs, earn their trust, then lure them into their lair where a large pack of vicious coyotes is already waiting to eat the poor dog. Huh. I don't know if you've heard stories like that, but they're just a myth anyway. First, coyotes don't live in big packs, and second, they simply don't know how to deceive. They're not like humans, but they can really get in close contact with dogs, play together and all that. If you have cousins, you Pretty interesting. Well, at the end of that video, they show a roadrunner, like a real ride, real roadrunner. And uh, the coyote, they say the coyote can run like 26 miles an hour and the roadrunner can only run 12 miles an hour. The exact opposite of the cartoon that we all watch.